All right, welcome back to the channel. I wasn't gonna do anything tonight. I uh, soaked, oh my gosh, my apologies, this is an absolute filthy around here. I soaked the car from that 70, finally tore it apart. Um, it really wasn't that dirty. It just needed a, just a good soak and to get it all apart. But I thought, well, I wasn't gonna put a video out tonight, but my boy Shane Holtz gave me a good shout out today. So I thought, well, might as well get something out. So I thought I'd get this other carb rebuilt quick for that other 70, not the 70 that's in the front yard. This is for the 70 that's out at the farm still. Um, the one they got those tires from that you saw in the last video. So but I thought it'd be a good time to get that or get this thing all ready to go so figure out what we get with this kit looks like a lot of little gaskets looks like felt for around the shafts Probably just around the top shaft. That gasket. And then some little gaskets and whatnot. So, I am definitely not a carburetor expert, so do not take too much of a carnal truth in what I'm doing here, but I'll try and get this rebuilt somewhat quick tonight. My plan is to, once I get that other 70 back in here, is to uh, um, get it in here and then swap carbs out to make sure this one runs before I take it out to the farm. So that way, Was about the, old, the other one was in there about two and a half, so I'll kind of try and start there um, for the time being. Not a screwdriver, but it totally works. Got that on. Let's see. Get this little jet back in there. Sort of set apart. I feel like I would have had one. Do 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 do. Pull the thing. Well, hopefully, you guys all got your Christmas shopping done. Santa Claus, what you're asking for. I hope all of you are getting tractor park shaped gifts underneath the tree if that's what you want or are needing. There we go. That's tight. Yeah, we'll say that's tight. Do, 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 do. I got a new. Didn't I 
get a new, oh, I did get a new needle and seed. Where's the needle? There it is. Dang it. Put that back in there for nothing. That's fine. Comes back out. Not a screwdriver. Get this uh, tore apart. There we go. That's better. Most carb kits, I think I'll have like two extra kits of parts worth afterwards. That's how it normally works. But yeah, so might be the last video of the week as uh, holidays are coming up and family time is going to be happening, which I hope is the same for all of you. It's a good time with family. I know it's kind of different this time this year because 2020 is being 2020 about it. But hopefully you guys can find time to spend with your loved ones. And if they're into tractors, tell them about me. <laughs> a little selfish, I guess. But eh. I do this before that in there like so I need that thing to That's why you dumb dumb. Why did I tell you that? Oh, that was terrible. This has been clean. Bad idea. Works. <coughs> 10 out of 10 would not recommend. That was dumb. Alright, we'll set that aside. Now, I think, if I remember this right. Oh, wait, there's a gasket behind there. Got it. Get, get, get. Was there a gasket behind this thing? Bet there was. And I bet it was that one. Was it there? Some of the parts. Yeah, there's the gasket for that one. Put it in, 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 put it in
ba 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 Okay, this little guy. Does this have a gasket on it? No. Go to your home, sir. Okay. This main jet has a gasket on it. We'll screw that in now. Remember when you're installing this stuff, um, you're not putting wheels on the car. You don't need to go crazy with it. We're using a giant ratchet here, but I'm just going just a little snug. Nothing too crazy. All right. There's that. All right, I'm not sure exactly where I cut that, but it was pissing me off. So probably stop because it wasn't getting anywhere we got the choke on works nice had to figure out exactly how that worked remember how that worked I should say so now that's on this is all done you don't see it's ready should be able to place the gasket so it looks like some of these you have to kind of work them around. Hmm. There we go. So you got to work them around the floats. They don't exactly fit the other way. Make sure you kind of get it where all your holes are going to line up the right way. The last thing you want to do is cover a passage up. That will be bad. Place that on there. Flip it upside down. Look, this one doesn't have studs. Put those four screws, get those started. Same thing on these screws. You're not uh, you're not holding the Golden Gate Bridge up together. You don't have to go super tight snug you want the gasket to seal but you don't want to go so tight get that done do, 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 do. yeah some point I cut that other one down or maybe for the montage because it was just starting to get excuse me not fun anymore and when it's not fun it's not good video content I mean struggling's okay but when it's just that same you're doing the same thing Fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. Sometimes you just gotta turn the camera off, get mad at it, and tell it that you're the boss. And then it still doesn't work, and you're mad, more mad, and all the fun things. All right, so this thing's just about done. Now these new kits do also come with some other gaskets and things and depending on how bad it is you can get new little, little gaskets for in here but usually they're pretty good. It also comes with some more felt. Um, if you want to pack in there if that's not tight you can take that out and shove some in there and that'll help it seal in. But this one actually is pretty good there. I think so. Very cool. good. These also do come with a new throttle shaft which is very nice. Some kits will come with a new um, throttle plate, some won't, this one does not, and that's fine. You just wanna make sure your throttle plate, um, you're not getting a lot of air gaps through there. Let's make sure you tighten it up before you you can see which way it was the wear marks were. And a lot of times the way it's offset, it really only fits in there the one way. But it's always best to mark these when they're coming off. I clearly did that. I did not. But on this particular tractor, it kind of only goes on the one way. So. 
get that tightened up. Square the world. I'll say what's really handy when you're working on these little small little screws. I think I got these tools from my great grandpa Whiteman. Would have actually been my great grandpa who ran farmalls. But they're the they're the screwdrivers that lock onto the bolt. Super handy. stuff started. Once it started, you just unlock it and tighten it up. Get that there. Oh, bam, that's all on. Um, I don't know what to do is put the fuel line on. So wait till I get it back on the track because I might redo that. This seems to work pretty well. Oh, last thing, you got to put your throttle stop or your idle, idle control on. that's on you just kind of wanted to have it so it's actually cracked off the idle a little bit not too much doesn't take much air to keep these engines going so just uh, take it so it's just touching off the stop just a little bit I think that's probably too much so, so that's it that's a pretty terrible way to rebuild one of these <laughs> um so yeah your main points of adjustment you're going to do once you get it running is you get your main um your main jet adjustment here and then your uh idle adjustment here so you'll adjust that at idle keep that kind of cleaned up and then adjust this one it's wide open you want that to be nice and not stumble not too lean and you should be good so all right we'll wrap things up uh probably hopefully one more video this week if not uh merry christmas uh, happy holidays and we'll see you on the next one